the action. Anders Johansson here from Sweden lining up at the farmer's walk. Another guy with a very good grip here, Anders Johansson. This is one of his specialities, the farmer's walk. Nice and safely through 20 metres, doesn't look as fast, but maybe he's pacing himself, he's just gone off course a little bit. Halfway through, nice steady turn. Good job for Anders Johansson. Boy, the pain is starting to bite now, yeah. you can see it on his face, he's going very tense around the neck. The final turn, he drops the left shoulder a bit, trying to make the turn and it doesn't happen. Good determination here from Johansson. Trying to hang on for the final five meters. I think he's going to make it all the way through, Doug. Yes, he does. That's great from Johansson. A good, solid, steady performance. A very nice job from Anders Johansson of Sweden. 53.91 seconds for Anders Johansson. Yeah, it wasn't the fastest time. The fastest time's all around 40 seconds and under. That's a tough event, hey? Have you done it a lot of times before? Yeah, this is one of the most common strongman events. So. And have you competed a lot in the past? Yeah, I was sixth in the Super Series last year. Oh, wow. But I split off my prize a few months ago, so yeah. I'm not in the best shape. Mm -hmm. Those injuries, just it's unbelievable how many injuries cause in this sport, isn't it? It's not, nothing for sisters. Yeah. <laughs> well, good job. And is this your first time competing after your injury? No. I was in Moscow last week also. Easy guy. Yeah, thank, you. <laughs> thank you very much. Brings up Don Pope to take on the Farmer's Walk. Don Pope from the USA. Yeah, this is the kind of body type that we were saying earlier. Well, they're pretty well at the farmer's walk. He's tall, he's athletic, looks like he can move well. He's got broad shoulders, quite slender legs, so he can keep the weights away from his legs to allow them to move freely. Is one of the keys to this event to be the way you can move the weights forward and backward to create a little momentum? Not necessarily. I think the guys who've got broad shoulders and thin hips, you know, they get a lot more clearance for the legs. You can see Donnie's off like a rocket very quickly through the first 10 now making the turn at the first 20 meters is don pope for the usa that's a good solid turn it's just swinging in a bit he's got to keep it clear of those legs moving pretty well that's halfway through the course yeah we know from the previous guys who've gone once he's down at this 60 meter mark if you can make it round, then it's just a dash for the finish line, but it looks like he's, he's wobbling from side to side a little bit here. He has slowed up a little bit through the first 40 meters. Now through 60, he's going to make a put down. Hope trying to re-energize the muscles and come in for the final 20 meters. He can now ill afford to have a second put down. He has to come through the final 10 meters with strength and speed. Just shy of the finish line is Don Pope with a second put down. Finally crossing him, and that second put down is crucial. I think that's going to cost him dearly in his time. Vital couple of seconds lost there, Doug, on that finish line drop. 59.03 seconds for Don Pope, putting him in current second spot in the farmer's walk. So two put downs, but he was very quick, Jamie, through the first 40 meters, and that may have helped him out with his time. Yeah, he looked like he was moving a lot quicker than the other guys, but those two drops. John, can you tell me a little bit about how you train for the farmer's rock? I uh, just try to find something that I can pick up and carry. Uh, like what? Um, anything that's, that's heavy. We try to weld the bar onto it and uh, mimic it for the contest. Is it, is it one of your favorite events or how do you feel about it? Uh, today, no, <laughs> but usually, yeah, that was, that was slow for me. So. It depends on the day, I know what that's like. Yeah. Thank you so much and good luck with the rest. That'll bring up Mark Felix, now residing in England, originally from Grenada, to take on the Farmer's Walk. 
Mark Felix. Had a chance to talk with Mark Felix the other day, and he is so looking forward to this competition to see where his skills stack up against the world's best right here in the 2004 All Strength World Championships. Yeah, this is Mark's. This is Mark Felix's first major international, so I'll sh I'm sure he'll want to shine. Well, very quick start out of the gates for Mark Felix. Boy, he's almost in a full sprint through the first 20 meters. This is looking good. He's got to keep this going now all the way through. This could this could seriously challenge Varuschuk's time if he can keep this all the way through, Doug. Mark good, Felix. solid turn. 40 meters done for Mark Felix. This is the crucial turn now, nice and tight on this turn, Very and then nice head for the home straight. He's starting to slow up, but has only a few meters left. Mark Felix needing to cross the finish line, and he does so, and does wow. a hard dive into the ground, but Mark Felix with a tremendous effort. Yeah, he said he wanted to do really well at this competition, and he's not let himself down at all here. That's a great performance. One of the best performances thus far was Mark Felix in the Farmer's Walk. 38.97 seconds for Mark Felix, just 1.34 seconds off the time of the number one in the world, Vasil Vereschuk. Yeah, he's not disgraced himself at all with that time. That's a fantastic performance from Mark Felix. Mark, you make that look real easy, but I noticed a little tinge of not happiness from you. Is that you're not happy with that? Well, I usually go faster than that boy. I don't know, it's just one of those things. Well, it looked pretty fast to me. You didn't stop, and a lot of the guys are dropping the weight in between. Oh yeah, that's that's a pretty good for me. Uh, I've been faster. <laughs> well, I think you did good. Good job. New to the competition, Grenada's Mark Felix wins the Farmer's Walk. 33 points and a time of 38.97 seconds.